shop we found, the house that we wanted. Really, that is the next step of our home buying process. Only thing I don't like is the backyard, but I feel like that's always the, yeah. the compromise. Yeah, I'm gonna organize everything really fast. It's ridiculous, like it always is. Um, like look for home. Oh, this is cute. You're the best mom ever! You <laughs> I was gonna go look for him some little toys. <laughs> These are pretty. It's the birthday boy! Our last first birthday. No! This is ridiculous, like, oh my lord. We're gonna be graduated for what? I'm gonna be out of high school for six years. That is so crazy. I'm gonna be 24. Who the fuck said I could be 24 and have three kids? Hannah. What? Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> okay, this is hard work and dedication right here. All right, let's taste test. Welcome back to a vlog. Last time I saw y'all, I was in Punta Cana, but now I am back home. And I have a lot of catching up and updating y'all to do, and it's gonna go quick, so just stay tuned in. I'm also gonna be putting the groceries away. I will put a list of like, the ingredients that I got for my meal prepping for this week, or like what meals is on the menu basically for this week, if that makes sense. So if you wanna know what we're eating this week, look on the screen, we will be cooking. We are done with fast food. Okay, so in the vlog before, Y'all know we've been looking for houses and we thought we found the house that we wanted and it is still the house that we want. However, something happened, which is basically the bank has the house appraised to see what the value of the home is and the appraisal came back way lower than what the house was listed for and what we originally offered. And it was by a lot, like I think 40 or 50,000. And so basically what that means is the bank will only approve you for that amount of loan if that makes sense and the seller was unwilling to meet us at that amount so what we did is we went into a second option period which is basically a time where i still have to like back out and still get the money back that i put down like the earnest money back so anyways basically we're getting a second appraisal for the home that the buyer is going to pay for so we're basically waiting on that appraisal to come back. The only thing is I do have to change lenders now because the bank that I was working with said that even if the second appraisal came back higher, they would go with the lesser of the two. So basically what that means is I could still go through my lender, but then whatever amount they wouldn't cover in the loan, we would have to pay cash plus our down payment and closing costs. And that would be way too much for the value of the home anyways, just in general to put down on the home. So basically that is the next step of our home buying process. So while we're waiting on the second appraisal to basically see how things are gonna go, we're we're gonna go look at some more houses because we just don't know if that one's gonna fall through or not so yeah i'm only putting away the stuff that is frozen because we're gonna come back and organize the fridge here in a little bit but yeah we just got back from church so i already changed my clothes aaron is taking the boys to starbucks really fast so we can get a quick breakfast because we didn't eat before we left the church this morning i was just jumping right into everything because we're getting ready to leave to go look at the houses here in just a second so trying to make sure everything Goes in the fridge. Like I said, I'll be cooking for the entire week. It's also Mello's birthday week. So originally we were gonna celebrate today for his party, but instead we're gonna do it on his actual birthday, which is Tuesday. And we're just gonna do something small at the house with family and friends. Aaron's dad came into town for his birthday. We're probably just going to be either barbecuing or catering food. Life is going like full force speed right when I came home from being out of town and we're just getting right into it. Yesterday was kind of a little bit of a rest day and now we're back going 100 miles per hour. Anyways, I got some new baskets and stuff to organize the fridge and kind of create. Will you stop beeping, please? I know the door is open, honey. I'm trying to put groceries away. But anyways, basically I wanted to make it really easy for me to cook and to make sure that I have everything. So I got these little baskets, which I'll show you later. And we're basically going to just put all the meals together in the fridge for the week. So all the ingredients are all there. Like everything's kind of how if you ordered from like HelloFresh or something, everything would come like packaged together. And it's just easy, quick to find, to prep. That's what we're going to do. I also am starting the kids back on PediaSure just because... I feel like it will help fill in just nutritional gaps that they might get. I mean, I feel like they have a pretty well-balanced diet, but 
we're kind of going back to their little protein shake. So for Carter and Carson, I got chocolate. For Mellow, I got vanilla. The only thing is, is they did not give me the other two items that I ordered. Like, he only found refunded two different kinds of the pea pitcher. Anyways, everything that I wasn't able to get from my Kroger delivery or that had to be replaced, I'm going to also pick up from Target on my way back from looking at the houses. Place a Target order also for diapers, groceries. My hair is still a mess. The humidity in Dallas is disgusting. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my hair done this week, so we're kind of just thugging it out. It is what it is. The baby hairs are not laid in slate. I even tried flat ironing this morning and it's storming all week here, so it's just like, forget about it. A part of me, like meal prepping and actually cooking, is just really to help with the kids and them having a more balanced diet because I've honestly just been slacking a lot. We've been eating a lot of takeout and fast food and it's just kind of gotten out of hand. And so I'm like, okay, you need to get it together. I'm gonna start cooking more often. In and we're gonna eat out less so that's that on that i'm supposed to meet my realtor chincia i'll leave her email on the screen because i think i told you i was gonna leave it in the description box in my last video when we were house hunting and i did not i'm just gonna leave the rest of this stuff and put it away whenever we get back it's kind of like a sunday reset day kind of all over the place because we're also scheduling and like going house hunting Ooh, I want to try this. I've never tried the coffee before. Okay, we got a couple more things to go in the fridge. This is the poppy prebiotic rose and berry, raspberry rose. This is very good. I mean, it would be better if it was cold, but that's still really good. I like that way better than the Olipop. I used to really like Olipop back in the gap, but I haven't been feeling it lately. I'm so excited to cook, y'all. I feel like the hardest part about cooking is finding things that you actually like enjoy eating and making. And I feel like I'm kind of restricted a little bit dietary-wise because I don't eat a lot of seafood, I don't eat pork. So it's like, I feel like I'm always in a rut of eating like chicken meals and then I run out of like stuff where I'll eat spaghetti a thousand times. TikTok is always coming through for you, girl. And I found some new recipes to try that also seem like very quick and easy. Some of them not, but some of them are. Tonight, I'm not cooking though, it's Sunday, and I told you guys Aaron's dad's in town, and we haven't seen him since he got here, and Aaron's been saying he wanted to go out to eat, like, or go to dinner anyways. So tonight, we're gonna go out to dinner and sit down somewhere, and then cooking Tuesday, we probably won't cook because it'll be Mello's birthday and we're gonna cater, but other than those two days, we'll be just, like, cooking for the rest of the week. So. That is the plan. Got all of our coats. Just placed my Target drive-up orders. Church was so emotional this morning. If you guys live in Texas, or you watch the news. We had a mass shooting at one of our outlet malls in a place you would never imagine something like that would probably happen. It's a very um, sought after, wealthy, safe neighborhood up in north of Dallas. And it's one city over from the church that we go to. And so it's just very emotional this morning. I've been crying. I'm very scared about my kids starting school this fall and the world, man, is just uh, kind of Sad. Keep your clothes on because we're about to leave. We're about to leave. We're about to leave. We're gonna go look at some houses. Filling up this milk to take with me for the baby because we'll be gone for a couple of hours. Oh, come on. But mommy said we have to eat first. We got our milk. I just need to run upstairs really quickly so I can get my other camera. I'm trying to like tie my hair up. I just need to go get like a big headband from Target or something because I don't know. I We have so much to do y'all. Like we got to get ready for New York. We have so much to do this week and I need to get my hair redone but my girl like her books are low key already full and I'm just like Ugh. I texted her yesterday to see if I could squeeze in and she um did not respond to me so but anyways okay I'm gonna go grab some wipes and diapers for the baby. I will meet you guys at the first house or back in the car. I'm also gonna try the ladies a little bit. Let's see. What is this, a bathroom? Um, a lot of rooms. That backyard is nice. I do love the big backyard, that's for sure. The kitchen is a nice size too. I know. It's not <laughs> bad. I just know if it's like a similar or the other one. Ooh, there's four cubby holders. I like this backyard. I mean, I feel like it's just as big as the other one. Oh, okay. yeah. It's huge. Yeah. Okay. Did you see this? 
the big the big closet since that last spider we saw in the I know you're gonna be mad at me but just you're heavy buddy <laughs> <laughs> so, so this one, I do remember this is the Jack, Jack and Jill. Jill. Yeah. Okay. I don't like the bath. I just don't like the, all this gray. That's the only thing. I feel like the layout of this house is really nice. The backyard is really nice. Big closet. You could add recess lighting, like the master has. Yeah. Um, to the other bedrooms if you wanted to be a little bit more. Area. I'm not mad at it. It just feels like it would have to have a lot of stuff. Upgraded. Yeah. It needs a little bit. Do you like the carpet, or would you want to take it out? I don't. I mean, I don't know if I would go through the whole thing of replacing the gray floors. And it already has a tub in there. Yeah, you can see. For just a second, so I can look at this last room. Yes. So be Mello's room. Yeah. Oh, if they could see us, and we can see their backyard. You oh, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, to me, I can definitely tell the new build, but. The kitchen is very grand. Yeah, those are definitely the eighth like it's tiny. Whew. Small pantry. These gray cabinets that don't match anything in here. What is this? No. It's got a laundry. Hmm? What does it smell like up there? <laughs> Fireplace. Yes! Hey, stay, stay. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay. It's got a little nook. This is pretty. It's like a little seating area. Master. This shower is not bad. It's definitely not finished in here. Nice closet. Yeah, I mean the doors are already dirty. Staying here on the low. I like the light floors. Yeah. Wonder what this is. I hope this is not the master. This has to be the one where. In the closet. This has got to be the master right here. Thanks. No, I think this is the, like if you wanted to make it a studio. Okay. Well, I just, I, master? I just, yeah, I just can't. Who in their right mind would you? Well, this is nice, big open concept. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is really pretty. Yeah. And it feels big even for being the doors open to the outside. Yeah, this is nice. This yeah, is pretty. This is really nice. It's yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie. This is this is big. Yeah, this big. Okay, so wash your Half bath. It's an odd place for a washer dryer. Right off the kitchen. Oh, it's three yeah, damn floors. Yeah. 
It's giving. Oh. Two in her closet. Closet, yeah, I like that. This countertop space is really good. With some windows, which is nice. It's giving. It looks like the Statler almost. You said it looks like the what? The Statler. That's four stories. Yeah. Okay. This is not bad for the No, it's not. be somebody's room. Yeah, you should start you should start doing that. You need to... Okay, let me run up here so I can get out there. It's only three bedrooms. Okay. It's another one of these big ass decks, but what are you gonna do with all this? I don't know. We almost rented a place that looks almost identical to this. And then put the, the green grass on the bottom. Oh, the view is a really dope looking view. Yeah, it is. And peaceful. Oh, God, it does. It's got a little backyard. What is it about there? Okay. long. Don't you love when Carter is going to sleep? Yes. <laughs> I don't know how long. We'll go on the car and then I just... <laughs> I like the little wet bar. Yeah. This is cute. Only thing I don't like is the backyard, but I feel like that's always the yeah. the compromise. Right? Yeah. But this is pretty. I really like this. The kitchen is really nice. Master, this is so pretty. Ooh, nice shower. This is cute. A lot of natural lighting. Pretty. Toilet. Closet. Not a real laundry, that's all right. Only two bedrooms on the upstairs. Oh, I'm guessing the deck is upstairs. Somebody's in the kitchen, and you have the people over, they could come yeah. out to the deck yeah. without having to kind of cut Go through. The this is cute. I definitely like it. It feels yeah. like city vibes. Yeah. That's cute. That's very cute. Just wait, wait for it. It's on access from the outside, so it could be kind of Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is really cute. Oh, this is really cute. Okay. So, because this is a new build on this is cute. It's very like Art Deco. So it's very to be this close to the city, but still kind of feel like you have yeah. a. You feel like you're kind of just, uh, Yeah. That's as well as Carter and Carson, come here. Those uh, have the anti-fogger. Oh, that's nice. And they do they do they open? It's like a medicine yes, cabinet, huh? Yes, yeah. Have as well. It's cute. I haven't so. seen that in a while. Carter, come here and stay by me. Walk-in closet. Feels like a little mini oasis. Yeah. 
so cute. Do you see like an oasis? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what it feels like. like it feels a, like, like a little escape home. Yes. Like... This is really cute. Cute. Yeah. Very private. Very private. Very nice. Like, keeping the birds. And the goal of the other finish is that someone can see like a one and a half million dollar house. The roof is like way above it. Oh, yeah. There's plenty of bridge for solar as well. A little. Guys, this kitchen looks good with a shower. Oh, yeah? Hey, guys! Look at this! Yeah? Yeah, it looks good. It's cute. Cute. It's got a little dishwasher. So it has Courage. all the appliances, except some kind of like a little Airbnb, so we would just get like a little, micro, a little microwave or something here. Okay, it's over here. It's a nice size duck. Whee! The DR did my skin dirty, but it's okay. Because at least I got this nice tea. And y'all, but I'm not gonna be able to keep it up because it's raining all week in Dallas. Kind of is that. Anyways, today is Monday. It's the official first Monday back from vacation. And baby, I am, whew, I don't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> you know, it's always hard going back from vacation to work mode. Like I know I have a ton of stuff to do, but I haven't even looked at my calendar. So I'm just like, fuck it, we gone. You know what I'm saying? Like we're just gonna pray for the best. So, <laughs> Anyways, I have my hair wrapped up right now because it was a hot mess yesterday and I'm trying to like get it to lay down a little bit. But we have, I think, it, we're kind of playing it by ear with my realtor if we're going to go look at these houses at 10 or not. And it's about 8.30 right now. And I really just want to get the house cleaned up, finish up the groceries and stuff. Melo's birthday is tomorrow and I feel like my brain is scrambling. So I'm like, okay, girl, what are we going to do? We're not doing anything big just because we kind of, yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong, don't get me wrong, with celebrating a kid's first birthday, especially when it's your first baby or you're a new parent. Like, it's like this huge, you know, one year milestone, but also it's kind of just like you're throwing the party for the adults and for like family and not really for the baby, if that makes sense. So we kind of just don't do big, you know, younger birthday parties anymore. We usually will take the kids on a trip or to travel somewhere. And our original plan for his birthday was to like go up to a cabin and maybe spend the weekend up there just because it would be, I think, money better spent on an experience than a party. That's just how we do it. Like I said, I think little parties are super cute. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Carter had a very big first birthday, but I digress. <laughs> now that it's come to his birthday is tomorrow, we're kind of like scrambling, which I feel bad about because we never really had anything super planned out besides the cabin if we were gonna stay home because we honestly just, we don't have like a ton of people that we were gonna necessarily invite. And then now Aaron's dad came, so then Aaron was like, okay, well, let's do something. And I'm like, well, you know, that's last minute for me. And as far as like, you know, doing little decorations or whatever. So I honestly don't know exactly what we're doing. I think I'm gonna throw out the idea of just maybe going to the aquarium tomorrow for his birthday or something, like during the day while the kids would normally be at school. We're obviously gonna do cake. I do have balloons and like stuff like that. But yeah, we were gonna originally ask like Aaron's dad to maybe barbecue and then have like a couple people over here, but it's just not looking like that. It's gonna be what happens. But regardless, we're gonna sing happy birthday. We're gonna celebrate him, but. Anyways, that's just some things on my mind besides getting my house cleaned up. I need to put out all the laundry today because I didn't do it yesterday. When I came back, I got into all these other things besides talking about the house. So when I came back home yesterday, I was just burnt out. We looked at a ton of houses. As you guys probably saw, I probably gave some commentary about the houses while we were viewing them. None of them honestly was just like, this is it, or this would be the next runner up if the house that we're under contract with doesn't work out. So we're going back to look at some more today. I will say, I think that the first house has potential. Like, I think I like the first house, the price, the location, and the fact that because it's priced so low, we could probably go in there and just like, you know, we can redo the hardware, we can take out the floors, like all of that and still probably come in under what we were gonna pay for the last house and kind of just upgrade it. The backyard is equally as big as the house that we really, really like. Yeah, there's just some things that had some work that had to be done to it, but the square footage wise, I feel like was way better. It's a true four bedroom, three full baths. So we got a lot to do today as far as just like picking up around the house we got to put all those groceries away i didn't do that yesterday i was literally so burnt out after we came home we ended up eating this place called granny's i'll insert some pictures for dinner and it was good it's like a little cajun black owned restaurant in dallas 
We basically have got to get everything put away. I don't even want to do this today. I'm not going to lie. I'll have no motivation, but I'm like, okay, the least I can do is get the laundry put up. And then after I get the laundry all together, I can work downstairs in the kitchen. I'm going to try to connect to this mic. I just don't know how this works, to be honest with you. I know this goes inside of here. Y'all been telling me I need a mic so dang bad. It's ridiculous. This connects to the little camera I have though. I don't know if I can connect it to another camera. Only thing I don't like about mics is just like you can see the mic there. And sometimes mics are a little too loud for me. I don't know. Anyways, we're getting off topic. I'm doing anything to avoid this monstrosity. Do y'all see this? It's ridiculous like it always is. Ugh. So sad. So sad. Chop. I gotta go find some more black bags. The amount of laundry we have is ridiculous. I feel like I just cleaned out my closet. I'm gonna have to clean it out again. And y'all, when am I gonna start packing? I've been saying I was gonna start packing for so long, and I'm just like, you ain't started, girl. There were so many outfits that I packed that I didn't even get a chance to wear while we were in the DR. Swimsuits, swimsuits, swimsuits. I am burnt out, baby. Our next trip that we're going on, we're planning it to, well, we're going on a couple more trips, but like the next like friend group, well, I can't even say that. Cause me and Aaron and like some of our friends slash cousins are supposed to be going to Miami in June. But the girls that I was with, one of them, their boyfriend is Aaron's best friend. And so we're thinking about going on a couple's trip to Puerto Rico, which I'm super excited about because none of the mans are mans have um passports and so yeah we're just basically thinking about going to puerto rico instead and then it'll be fun because the whole time we were there we were just like dang like we wish we could have like separate or we can do things together as couples will be nice you know what i'm saying so anyways puerto rico here we come i think we're gonna go in july probably okay we got one bag done yeah, me and Erin were already planning on going to Puerto Rico anyway for our anniversary in August. I think we're gonna low-key still try to go somewhere, but I don't know if it's gonna be Puerto Rico. It's just like never ending, like why? I promise when I move, I'm gonna be the most organized person you've ever met, ever. Ever, 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 ever. We're not taking any of this stuff when we move. We're gonna have way less clothes, more organization. All of the above. Hopefully I'll be able to get you all that vlog up today from the DR. We shall see. It's gonna be a shorter vlog than it normally is and y'all gotta still watch it. Y'all literally only be watching the vlogs if they're two hours long. Y'all be killing me. But that's okay. I like long vlogs too. But I don't think the one from the DR is going to be very long. I got to finish up the edits and stuff, but I think it's probably just going to be like maybe, maybe a little bit over an hour. I don't know. We'll see. I'm excited about cooking and this week. Today is Monday, so for dinner we are going to be doing make your own pizzas. Just keeping it simple so we don't really have a lot of prep for today. I also think I'm going to start going back to cooking dinner before the kids come home from school or like at least having everything ready. So I feel like that just eliminates a lot of, you know, drama. I just, I function so well off the schedule and we have not been able to keep a schedule in so long, you guys. It's just, it's sickening. Like I love when my days are the exact same every single day. Like I know what to expect. I know what's going to happen. Like I feel like the days just flow better like that. I know everybody's not like that. Like some people like like spontaneity, but not me. I am very boring if like every day was the exact same. You know, change up the food or maybe the scenery. But like if every week was just like, okay, Tuesdays is this day, we know what we do here. We go on movie dates, we do this, we wake up at this time. But life and outside factors are always like, no. But I feel like it's also just me. Like I have to learn how to stick to like my non-negotiables. Like I kind of have a flexible schedule. Like I can kind of do whatever I need to do whenever, you know, the only like time structure I have really is like by the time, like, like when I pick the kids up from school and like obviously getting them ready in the morning. So besides that, my day is kind of, I can do whatever I want with my day. Like, cause I'm at home, my work is flexible. I can pretty much do it whatever. But 
it's also I have to start back making like a non-negotiable schedule because sometimes I'll just like know I have something that I'd rather do at one time but then I'll push it to go do something else and then it'll end up coming back and then now my whole schedule is rewritten. So I just want to start making like a very strict schedule and not pivoting from that just because I can. I'm going to try to actually stay consistent and basically work on like a structured schedule. I'd be telling you all the time like people think nine to fives are so bad. Nine to fives gives you a lot of structure and schedule and you don't have to think about your work once you leave. Unless you just really like your work. You know what I, mean? I think that's everything in here. Now we just need to go pack up everything from the boys' room. I'm just trying to get the, the like immediate things done, which is like laundry, going to put the groceries away, and then I need to like schedule in this week like a cleaning day. Aaron kept it picked up. Like when I came home, the house was clean. There was candles, flowers when I came home. He's always really nice about stuff like that when I come home from something. I need to like deep clean and like clean the showers and the toilets and the tubs and stuff like that, which is another reason why I really don't want to have like a big party here because I just don't really want a lot of people over here. And then cleaning up behind everybody is just, yeah. No. No, thank you. uniform for the kids so they can be washed and dried for tomorrow i'll just wash it at home so the thing with the laundry service if you guys don't know what i do when i basically pack up the black bags is i send them off to this app which you can basically i don't know how to explain it they basically assign someone it's like uber for your clothes or that's the best way i could describe it you just pack it up they come pick it up and then they wash it dry it fold it and bring it back to you and they charge you a dollar per pound which i think is low-key really good and affordable for laundry like as far as i don't know compared to like other services i guess i don't know i think it's 100 percent worth it though because i've always really been bad at doing laundry and yeah so it just helps out a lot especially with a big family and so yeah, that's where i send it off to and like after you use it you can like request to keep having like the same person if you like them so i request my same girl and she gets my stuff done really fast she folds good you can also send your own laundry detergent and stuff like that if you want to if not they provide it so that's also another cost cut right there i like it i like it a lot i will try if i remember to leave a link to the app in my description box that's everything. Last bag. Now we can go downstairs and do groceries. Ooh. Okay. I am going to do my nails really fast. I said we were going to do groceries, but I don't want to have to rush at the last minute. Y'all know I'm rocking press-ons for the time being, and my nails are still looking very much rough to say the least and so i have like this big pack of press-ons that you can get from amazon from the beats heart brand which i like these are not my favorite press-ons by them just because they're a little bit thinner like thinner just material but they get the job done you know what i mean so can't really complain too much gotta do what i gotta do until i can get some real nails on i need my nails done desperately once i can get my nails back done again i will be going to get gel x i'm not doing acrylic anymore because acrylic has ruined my nails like completely they're so thin they're so brittle and it just destroyed my nails gel x is faster one than doing acrylics it supposedly lasts longer as well and it's healthier for your nails so as soon as i'm done with my press on air which probably sadly won't be until like the end of may to be honest my nails are just like not growing back very quickly i wanted to try some like maybe nail growth oil or something but i'm really just trying to still take my vitamins and everything speaking of which i need to go do that here before we leave and i'm just really slapping these on like no prep nothing 
I don't, I will come back home and redo them later, but I cannot walk out the house without something on my nails. Cause they are so ugly. I really should have just never cut my nails down. Like the ones that were having an issue, I cut them all the way down to nubs. And that was probably like the biggest mistake I ever made. Cause then at least I could still go get them done, but now I can't even get them done. Cause there's basically no nail on my finger, which looks horrific. I need to create a better schedule or get back into a better morning routine. We tried to wake up early today. Well, technically I did wake up early. Mello was up at like 4 a.m. this morning. And so he came and got in our bed and he went back to sleep. But I was wanting to wake up at six o'clock, but I don't even know why I wanted to wake up at six o'clock because I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm really trying to get back into like working out and stuff. I have been using the app Copilot with the personal trainer and I like doing my workouts at home, but I just feel like I need something that's also a little bit more intense along with those. So I want to go to classes, but I just don't know what time I'm going to go to classes. So I'd be having a lot to do. I feel like I'm just always really busy. And there's only so many like usable hours in the day when you have kids. So, but we're going to get it together. The girls, my friends that were on vacation with me, because I keep saying like, I'm just going to get a tummy tuck and they're like, girl, just work out. Because they're like, if you don't start working out and eating right before you get the tummy tuck, you're not going to do it after. And then why'd you get the tummy tuck basically? So anyways. I'm gonna try to start working out being a little bit more consistent because I know I can do it. I just have a hard time doing things for myself. I don't show up for myself a lot when it comes to like working out or like just a lot of stuff. Like I feel like I put more effort into other people or if like I had somebody to go with me and they were like holding me accountable, then I would do it. That's how I, the only other time I've been consistent in the gym is when I had somebody going that I was going with. And I could go with Aaron to the gym. It's just like me and Aaron do like the complete opposite things in the gym. like. He's doing a lot of weightlifting. I'm definitely not doing weightlifting. I have no desire to lift weights. And so it's like we work out, but on the complete opposite ends of the gym. And Aaron's schedule is kind of like all over the place too. So like sometimes he'll go in the morning and then sometimes it's better for him to, after he picks up the, the kids from school, like in the afternoon or something. I don't know. I just need something consistent so that way I don't miss any days. All I want to do this summer is travel. Let me see if she texted me back. Phone is dry. I gotta reschedule all my appointments for this week. I'm thinking about just not looking too, too cute, like getting my lashes or my toes redone until I go to New York. But then also I forgot Mother's Day. It's just like never ending. Granted, I don't have to do anything for Mother's Day because it's Mother's Day, but it's Mother's Day next weekend. And I honestly have no idea what we're gonna do because originally we were gonna like throw Mother's Day over here at our house, but low key, we've been going through it with the grandmas as of lately. Or more so, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it because it's really not my business, but we are all supposed to do something over here. We usually always do like a Mother's Day brunch and Aaron and his brothers basically like throw it and they have like a chef come and they cook brunch for all the moms in the family. That's usually just how we celebrate it and we just do it at somebody else's house every year. This year, Aaron was like, no, we're gonna do something, just you, me, and the kids. And I was like, okay, so. Me, him, and the boys are supposed to be doing something. I have yet to be privy to that information. We'll see what we end up doing. I've always wanted to do like a luxury picnic. And so I thought that would be like a cool idea if we don't end up like going out of town. But I don't know. Because in between then, we are talking about doing something as like a family. And so if we can schedule a picnic at the last minute or what. We shall see the vibes. I just ran out of glue. I already even watched Bad Boys last night. Okay. We need to pick a show collectively in the comments that we all want to watch together on live. And I feel like it's going to be hard because I've literally already started watching like every single show. We got to pick something and I don't know what we're going to be able to pick because I don't watch every damn thing. I got a lot to do. I got to look at my calendar really fast. I think I have like 10 more minutes till 9 o'clock. So I'm going to plan out my work week really fast. Just see what all I have to do. And then I'll come back and get y'all once we do the groceries. This is what the nails look like. They're literally nothing spectacular. They're like this neutral nude color. It's not really that cute, but it's better than what I had before, okay? I can't remember if this month is busy or not. Last month was super busy. All right, it's done. <clears throat> Organize my calendar and stuff. Woo! So now let's get into the fridge and what it's gonna look like. So basically, 
I was kind of talking to you guys a little bit about it, I think, when I first started the vlog, but I kind of wanted to basically put all of my baskets here and kind of meal prep in a way, but just so like all the ingredients are already there for dinner, I just have to like take out the basket here, maybe have one in the pantry for like dry foods, and then I think it'll be like a little bit easier. It's like making my own little HelloFresh bags. Ah, if you've ever tried HelloFresh. I'm gonna organize it all, but I'm just gonna clear this shelf first. That quesadilla from Chipotle is fire, baby. That's what I'll be having for lunch. Let me see if these are still good. That's fine. There. Expires. Oranges. Okay. Basically, I got these white baskets from Amazon. I mean, I lied. They're from Target. So I'm going to put two on each side. Like so, like this. In my phone, I have the meals that I wanted to plan out, and then I have like the ingredients of what I needed, which is what helped me grocery shop. Monday is gonna be make your own pizza. So we basically need the sauce, the toppings, the cheese. I'm basically just gonna put in this basket everything we need to make the pizzas. So we have the cheese. I know some of the pepperonis. Okay. Two different types of mozzarella because I like to do margarita pizzas so I got this kind of mozzarella as well and then we need pepperonis where are the pepperonis? I swear I had them okay so Mondays was pretty simple I just had some tomatoes also to go in the basket and then my pantry basket for Monday, I already had some of these black baskets from Target, but I put the pizza crust in here. I meant to get smaller ones, but so I'm gonna do like a quick little Instacart order today for one more pizza sauce and some more pepperonis. So I thought I got the individual ones, but I actually got the big ones, but I'm basically gonna do the same thing in the pantry for the dry goods that I'm doing in here. So this is gonna be the dry foods for Monday. And then we've got our refrigerator stuff. So then all I have to do is like pull out those two baskets. I don't know. In my head, somehow, this feels like it's going to be easier for me to just make everything, like, prepped and easy and, like, that I'm not forgetting any ingredients. Or if I am, then I know now and I can, like, get another grocery order. Does that make sense? I hope this is making sense. Let me see how far I am from here. 21 minutes. Okay, I gotta leave the house in, like, 10 minutes to go look at the other home. So, we're gonna finish this right when we get back. Sorry, y'all. I kind of, like I'm saying, my mornings are, like, all over the place. But, okay, I'm just gonna put this stuff up in the fridge. But you guys get the gist of, like, what I'm trying to do? I just, I don't know. So we'll finish the baskets in a second. I'm gonna organize this stuff in the sides really quickly. Because I can do that in 10 minutes. We've got our eggs, our berries, our butter. Berries, butter. It's gonna have to go somewhere on this side. I should really use the wine fridge for the kids to drink because we don't ever drink a lot of wine. It's just kind of like sitting there. I need to bring back my little salad bar thing that I was doing. Let's take all of these off. Did I talk to you about this yesterday? I got the Pediasure uh, Brown Game plus immune support for the boys. Again, they used to drink these when Carter was younger and I'm always like looking for a chocolate milk that has a lot of protein and stuff in it just, you know, and like extra vitamins and things like that just to fill in the gaps because when kids are young, they could be like pretty picky eaters and they like these. So I got some regular vanilla ones for Judah just to have in the mornings and before bed and then I got Carter and Carson the chocolate ones since they are my chocolate milk babies the only thing that you have to be careful with with these is which I forgot is that they do have soy in them so I'm actually gonna look for a brand that doesn't have soy in it after they finish these soy is not horrible but it's not good for boys specifically just because it is linked to estrogen and that's just you know estrogen is for women not for boys after they finish these i'm gonna do some more research and see if i can find something about them. which i think they might have something like an organic brand but i don't know what organic means but they have two different ones that i gave to carter and carson so in the mornings they have one that's like super 
filled with protein. I feed them fruits and like toast and stuff like that, like a small breakfast in the morning before they go to school, but then they also need to get school again. But I know they don't always finish every single meal. So these can also be like meal replacement or snack like shakes. Yeah, they get the high protein one in the morning and then they get the regular one, which is pretty much the same thing at night before they go to sleep. I'm gonna put these all here and then I'm gonna head out and look at the house. the berries off in their containers this morning so no need to fuss got blackberries blueberries i love that the boys love to eat fruit i don't really see in them but we got the blackberries blueberries i'm gonna put the strawberries in that one so it should be pretty quick and then we'll be back here and we'll finish up cleaning up and then I looked at my schedule my calendar is pretty light for this week which I'm so thankful that I did for myself because I'm just like not really fully ready to go back into work mode since I came home so I'm gonna go upstairs throw some perfume on and then yeah let's go upstairs let's throw some perfume on and then we should be ready to go we did my skincare and everything this morning are the edges laying it's too much baby hair for me, but it is what it is. We need to place our Instacart order too. When we get back, that's a mess, but we'll fix it. I love being with people's close friends. Like, <laughs> I feel like close friends isn't what it used to be. Like, nobody really posts anything juicy. Did y'all see 50 Cent? 50 Cent is going on tour, baby. Oh, when I'm going. When I tell y'all I'm in love with that man, yeah. Mm -hmm. I will be going. He's coming to Dallas on August 25th, and I'm going to be there in the very front row. Okay, mark my words. <laughs> the very front. The very front. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that's a lot of baby hairs, but my hair does look better than yesterday. It was hella frizzy yesterday. Okay. Today's going to be a long-ass cleaning day, so buckle up, please, ladies. I'm still waiting for my other mirror to come in. I need to check the status of that. Okay. I need to organize over here. I need to put this back. Mm, I just ordered a whole bunch of new fragrances from Sol de Janeiro that I'm excited for. I also gotta remember to put real shoes on to complete the house. Whew, we're gonna put on, I think one of these fragrances, I, the one I've been grabbing for the most lately, if y'all can see it's like, it's very much used, but this Ambry Saffron from Dossier, y'all, it literally smells like Baccarat 540, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it doesn't have that strong, like, intense alcohol smell that Baccarat has. Like, if you ever smell Baccarat and you smell it on people when you come in, like, it's intense and it's strong, but it almost is, like, too much. But this smells just like the fragrance, which smells nice, but without the, like, <coughs> when someone walks by. Does that make sense? I don't know, but I have been just loving this. I think it smells amazing. And y'all know that's who I'm going to New York with is with Dossier for the billboard or for their like brand ad in Times Square, which I'm super excited about. Oh, I'm so ready. It'll be like a little mini also getaway for me and Erin because we're not taking the kids. If you've never heard of Dossier, basically they are a perfume company that remakes or their fragrances are inspired by designer perfumes or luxury perfumes that are really high-end and expensive but they're super affordable and something else that i really like about them is if you get it and you don't even like it you can send it back because they send you like a little tester along with your full bottle and if you don't like it you send it back you get your money back but i feel like this is amazing because they are like spot on for what they're inspired by so this is the vermont and white flowers and i can usually tell what it's inspired by by just like smelling it but let me 
look and see because I think that one this one is inspired by Victor and Ralph's flower bomb and it's just very florally the notes are bergamot green tea and berries with wildflower orchard rose caramel and vanilla this one smells very very good especially if you like something like florally like light and dainty you would really like this one the one that I just put on, like I said, is inspired by um, Baccarat 540, and so the notes are orange blossom, saffron, amber, cedarwood, etc. And it has all the notes on the bottle, which I like as well, because then it's just easy to see what it is. So this one is the floral honeysuckle, and it's got green tea leaves, orange, notes of jasmine, um, sandalwood, and vanilla. I think this one, let me look it up. This one is floral honeysuckle. Gucci Bloom. I, was, I knew it was Gucci, I just didn't know which one it was, but this is Gucci Bloom. So if you like that, you can get it off the dossier for $36 as opposed to like a hundred something <laughs> um, if you buy like, the actual designer fragrance. This one is Ambry Vanilla. So the notes are Mandarin, Pear, Pink Pepper, Cedarwood, Vanilla, and Coffee. Let me look up. And this one is inspired by YSL Black Opium, which was really popular a couple years ago and it smells good it's like a night out type of scent and then i'm pretty sure Ooh, this is woody sandalwood and this is inspired by le labo Hall, and it's got violet leaves the sandalwood the amber the musk and it smells exactly like it i feel like people have gotten really good at replicating that scent and you can buy it for so much less than getting it actually from le labo but yeah, anyways, smells just like the Lobo Central. Very good. Then Florally Marshmallow. Flory, Florally Marshmallow is inspired by Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, which is normally $240 and you can get it on this year for $36. And this one has orange blossom, honeysuckle, vanilla, musk, and um, bergamot. This is what they reported that Rihanna was year wearing years ago when everybody was like, she smells so good. So this is definitely another really trendy fragrance that you can add to your collection. And what I like about it too is like, if you're a perfume junkie or you really just like having like a ton of different perfumes, you can get the exact same fragrance and scent as like your favorite name brand ones, but for way more affordable. So it's just a little bit easier and more affordable to build your perfume collection. So if you guys are interested in checking them out, I will leave links for you in the description box, of course. And if I have a discount code, I'll put that in there as well. But yeah, I'm wearing the Ambry Saffron today. That's going to been the one that I've been reaching to. Y'all know I'm like a creature of habit. When I like something, I will just like use it over and over and over again until I'm sick of it. So... I think I'm ready to go. I was gonna maybe cover up. I got this little pimple from when I was on vacation, like a little too, but I'm just gonna leave them alone. I need to pack a purse and put some shoes on. I don't know what freaking shoes. I think I'm just gonna put my track runners on. I was gonna wear my foam runners, but the black ones are outside Ugh, from the last time I got them all like, muddy and dirty. I need to put some socks on. I don't ever be wearing socks, so it's a bad habit. Okay, take our little purse. Do, do, do. This is what we're wearing. I'm not gonna put any jewelry on. So we'll be in and out of here in no time. Alright, let's head out and go. We're taking an Uber because my car has to get serviced today. It's been having like an issue with the bullet. In the car and like it's caused the check engine light to come on and of course my inspection or like registration for my car is next month so we just got to go ahead and get it taken care of so i'm basically gonna uber to the first house and then ride with chintzia who's my realtor to the second house and then i'm just gonna uber home from there so i just called them come and pick me up i need to go shopping for a black pair of sunglasses i don't have a black pair of sunglasses and the ones I ordered off Amazon, I, I don't really like them all that much. Here's my little camera. I thought I left it in the car. It's so dirty, y'all. I took this with me to the DR when we went on the ATVs, and it has so much dust in here. I don't even know if the mic works. Definitely need some gum. Some lip gloss. The lip. Portable charger. Mini camera. I will see you guys when we arrive at house number one. Um... Kind of, because uh, I'm a real estate agent. If you see 
looks pretty. Are you in the market for looking? Or do you want my business card? I can, because um, I'm representing her, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, no, I'm saying I'm more than welcome to help yeah. you. Yeah. Like, if you wanted to, um, um, like, look for a home, I can assist you. Um, oh, this is okay. cute. Are you looking to move this here? Very so big bathtub. Oh, big closet. Big closet. I actually really like this house. Bathroom. Toilet. Flooded? No, I don't no, know. It does look wet. It looks kind of wet. wet. Yeah. Um, okay, sorry, Mar, I'm here. Hold up. Yeah, let me call you right back. I'm gonna I wonder if it's oh, like, I wonder if it's really a container home. You know that's oh, really like popular the, now. The ins insulation. Yeah. Oh, this is a half bath. Is it because the big chunk missing in the wall? Okay. What? How many of these are? Maybe they oh, have a they bigger. Are yeah, they're, they're not even done with the, the fans. Where's the entrance to the backyard? <sighs> Kitchen's an okay size. I wonder why they decided to put the epoxy over the floor. Yeah, I don't know why. I didn't notice that. The kitchen lights are there. They're not installed, I don't think. Uh, are the middle ones? Are. These are the middle ones. Shane doesn't look a lot better. I just don't like the gray. The gray is just. Yeah. And if this it is, kind of I don't like this either. There's like no it. hallway going to the master. It's kind of just like right here. Kind of like an apartment, like right yeah. off from the. Yeah. And it's like a hallway at least or something. Yeah, I do too. What is this? Oh, mm -hmm. needs a freestanding tub. Makes no sense. Shop. And this one's more expensive. Mm -hmm. These are these, these are tall. Look. So you if you want to climb right. to come over here. Yeah, which I do like that. Yeah, it was a good half bath. Oh, it's three floors. One bedroom. Okay, we got a flex space, which is nice. Little closet. This is a cute laundry room. This is the tile we have in our shower right now at home. Second bedroom. One window. So we're on to. Oh, this is huge. Okay. This is literally a ginormous bedroom with a nice closet. Yeah, I can see why it's priced kind of where this, these rooms up here are huge. Oh, this is a nice bathroom for the kids. Dang, that's actually, yeah, it's really nice. Just doesn't have a tub. You can see the whole skyline. If y'all haven't already watched it, you need to start The Queen of Charlotte, a, a Bridgerton story. It's good. I'm trying to finish it right now. I got home from looking at the houses. I should have gave y'all some commentary. However, I will say I really like the first house that we looked at, which granted it's smaller, but if you like know me, I really like small quaint homey feeling houses i've never been like a big huge house girl which i do like big houses for the simple fact of like space and entertainment but also it's just something about having a home that's a little bit smaller that just feels more cozy and just warm and family like if, does that make sense i think i really do like the first one it reminds me of the house that we're under contract in as far as the finishes and stuff like the materials is nice i would switch a few things in there for example there's carpet in the bedrooms i would have them take it out and just do the same colored hardwood floors 
all throughout then probably change out like the handles on the cabinets in the kitchen and just do them gold which i feel like not really that big of a deal so it's like only like two minor things and then we'll have to do work in either one of the backyards just like extending the deck or something like that but the, the one that we looked at has no stairs which i love i literally don't like stairs in the house i feel like especially with the kids they've never fallen down the stairs before but i just like single story homes like that's just my preference i'm not really a big stairs girl Look at him! Mello started walking, y'all. Look at him! Oh my god, there's so many steps! Oh my god! Look how many steps he took! Come here! Come on! <laughs> oh my goodness! I think he could have been walking a long time ago. He just doesn't really like to walk that much, but that is so cute! I'm gonna have to show Aaron when he gets home. Yeah, Mello has started, he started stepping. That's probably like as many steps I've seen him take in a row, but he has been stepping a little bit. He's not like fully just like put him down and he's like taking off walking, obviously if you can't tell, but oh my God, he looks so big. Whew. I know he low-key started taking steps while I was out of town and I was like boohoo crying, but Aaron was like, no, he didn't take any, but I'm sure he will when you come home. And I know he was just trying to like save my feelings, but I'm pretty sure like he started doing like little steps while I was out of town, which I was like, <sighs> I felt so horrible. I'm like, of course I would choose to go on vacation at this time. Horrible mom. Anyways, I really like the first house. The second house, I felt like the layout upstairs of the home was so nice because it had, it was a four true bedroom. The bedrooms were massive plus it had like a game area or like a loft or a den or whatever then it had also like that outdoor deck and it had like a very clear view like it was very cloudy today very rainy but it had a very clear view of the dallas skyline which is obviously nice but the finishes in the home was just like i feel like we would have to completely redo it i mean they put epoxy over gray laminate floors like what are you thinking what were you what were you thinking no, it was just the, the downstairs was just horrible and the backyard was really small and I'm just like, I would rather have the outdoor space versus the indoor space because I like my kids to be playing outside as opposed to, I don't know, you got what I'm saying, just like in the house constantly 24 seven, especially like we have a trampoline in the backyard, like we, we were thinking of, or thinking about putting a pool in wherever we move. So like a big backyard is like, it's, it's, it's necessary. Yeah, I really liked the first one, mainly that it was one story. The price point on both of them are lower than anything else that we've really seen, so I like that a lot too. The single story home was very, very, very affordable. It would be like a huge cut rent or mortgage, whatever, compared to everything else we've seen. But yeah, I don't know. So I think we're thinking about it. I think we still have this week to finish up the appraisal for the other house, which I still do really like the one that we're under contract with. I'm trying not to make so many personal decisions about the home because I know we won't be there for a while, which is also why I'm not really too, too pressed about it. But it also, I want something that I can at least look at in those gray epoxy floors. The gray carpet on the second house, it was just, it was enough for me. It was just enough for me. And I also just feel like, I don't know, because when I'm thinking about renting it too, I'm just thinking about like, I know what my style is and what I like and I can just envision what I like and what I see it would also be what other people would see like I might go see a home that has more square footage but if it looks like that I'd rather have the smaller one that looks nicer to look at every single day does that make sense I don't know I don't really know what they're because a lot of the homes we've seen they just they do gray everywhere and then the yellow lights and it's just mm -mm. anyways i took a little break when i got home ate my chipotle and watched an episode of tv because i'm always falling asleep at night and i never like finish my shows so we are just gonna finish up with our little grocery haul magician for Mello's birthday tomorrow i think we decided that we're gonna go like to pen stack probably bowl play games which is not really anything for a one-year-old to do but that's why we're not having a big party because for a one-year-old there's literally only so much that you can literally do like he, he can't even walk yet do you see what i'm saying so it's hard for us to like figure out like what we're gonna do so we're just gonna go bowling play games Ann's dad's in town so i'm sure Ann's dad his mom's gonna come like a few people might come but then it's it's not something like we had to pay for everybody to come just to eat, drink, whatever. 
and it wasn't even about Mello. Does that make sense? I don't know. I hope this makes sense. That's just where we're at right now. So probably gonna go get him a cake. I'm probably gonna keep him home from school tomorrow and just spend the day with him since it's his birthday. I might take him like to a little park with a little splash pad. We'll just probably vibe for his birthday tomorrow. Anyways, let's finish this up because I low-key did not even clean up upstairs. Tuesday, we're doing fajitas, so we need tortillas. The fajita meat I already put in there. I just got the pre-made like fajita meat that comes in like a little bag. Veggies are in the freezer. Fun fact, if you didn't know, you're supposed to really take frozen food out of the freezer before you prepare it and let it thaw. And it tastes a little bit better if you move it to the fridge versus keeping it in the freezer and then just preparing it straight from the freezer. I didn't really know that before, but, and I don't know if that's for everything, but for certain things like meat and like you can do it with the vegetables, it helps them to like cook better and they're already soft when you start cooking it. So we needed veggies in there and then we're gonna do rice. We need an onion. Got a white onion. We got the tomato sauce, the chicken bouillon. We need lime. All the limes go in here. Everything else is gonna be pantry. So for that basket, we need the tortillas, the rice, and oh, let me put the chicken bouillon in there. Chicken bouillon. Tomato sauce. So we just need tortillas and tomato sauce in the black basket. The only other thing that that house didn't have was a walk-in pantry. I don't know, it was just smaller, but I still think I really liked it. It was the only other house besides the one we're under contract with where I came in and I was like, okay, like I could see myself like here, like I could see my kids here, like I could see us snuggled up on the couch. The only thing it, it didn't have, like I said, was the walk-in pantry and it didn't have a fireplace. But I feel like if that's something that we really wanted to add, if we are there for a year and like, we're just like, oh, we want to add it. It's nothing to really just have somebody come and put in an electric fireplace, if that makes sense. So we need the tortilla, the rice, and the tomato paste for the red rice. So this is what the second basket looks like. Monday, Tuesday, even though I don't think I'll cook fajitas on Tuesday, but I'm still just, I might do it um, the next day, whatever. I like this too, because it's like, okay, if I don't feel like eating that one thing that I thought I was gonna make, I can just see what else I kind of like have. Okay, Wednesday is Cajun pasta. We're gonna be doing linguine noodles. And then everything else I feel like is mostly refrigerator stuff, because it's like sausage, chicken, bacon, or like beef byproducts. I'm gonna add shrimp on the side for the boys. Heavy cream. So let's do the fridge. So we've got... Heavy cream, we need our chicken thighs. I'm gonna separate this bag into two plastic bags for the chicken. Beef bacon, I'm gonna do beef bacon. So y'all know I don't eat pork. I also got some beef sausage as well. We're just doing a whole lot of stuff. It's gonna be a good Cajun pasta. Also doing shrimp. So I'm gonna put this in here. The meat. It requires an onion. What else? We need roasted peppers, sun dried tomatoes. Okay, so these will also go in the pantry basket. The roasted red peppers, sun dried tomatoes. I think that's it for the pantry basket. I'm gonna put the chicken in there. Okay, so Thursday we're gonna do chopped cheese. So we've got Hawaiian sliders. And then we need like ketchup and mayo in there to make the sauce. I think on the side of the pasta, I'm gonna do broccoli and it's already in the freezer. Okay, we also need a tomato and then lettuce. The lettuce, I'm probably gonna cut up and put in a bag, but just for now, I'm just gonna put the lettuce in there like that. Ground beef goes in there. And then we got some American cheese that also is going to go in here. Okay. And then I did have one more meal planned for the week, but I think I'm just going to probably save it for next week. But it was just like hot dogs and nachos, which all that stuff will stay good in the pantry. And I was just basically going to do hot dogs and Rotel because Friday nights are usually when we do like movies at home or something. So I was just going to do something simple like that. I also had on here for Saturday, Chipotle at home. So once I like clean up Monday basket and Tuesday basket, then I'll probably come back in and then add in like the Friday, Saturday. But I can only fit four baskets across the thing. And Aaron 
does dinner on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Obviously I could cook if I want to, but I didn't really need, I just planned for what I needed basically, so. Now I'm gonna organize the fridge back and put everything where we would normally go. So extra produce here, meat down here, stuff like that, so. The camera battery is about to die, but I hope that you guys got the gist of like what I was trying to do. I'm gonna organize everything really fast and then I'll take like a little picture and insert it so you guys can see, but. I don't know, I think this might be helpful for me. It's kind of re-inspired me to get back cooking. I love that for me. We'll see how it goes after this week. I'm a very indecisive girl, you know me. One week this, we had a salad bar in here for a week. That didn't last very long. It was a good idea though. Life's just been very chaotic lately, to say the least. Ooh. We need one more basket. And we need plates. It's a crust. Oh. Okay. Now it's going to be good. This is the crust on the pizza. Now we need... That's right. Sauce. This is the sauce we're using. Okay, I'll use it. Let me grab some of this from that one. Sauce okay, can you, Mom, can you do this and we can, and I can stop? Now, do we have to do this now? I have to do cheese. Oh, can I do the cheese? Mommy, can I do the cheese? Mm -hmm. do no, just take, put your hand and sprinkle some on there. Doing the cheese? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I want to do that. I'm so I'll do the same thing you did. This cheese. The rest of it and it'll be all gone. Mm -hmm. okay. You're welcome. Now do you want to be putting those in? Now what else do you want to do? These cheeses. Mozzarella cheese. Oh, I want to do that cheese. toddler could do it clean up easy now we just have to wait for the oven to finish preheating because i should have preheated it before we started but it shouldn't take long we'll just pop them in there for probably like 15 20 minutes then we'll have dinner is that exciting mm -hmm. you want to put your birthday balloons up let's put your birthday balloons up happy birthday Carmelo. happy happy
gosh, feels so bad. I can't believe my face is breaking out. Oh my god. We are doing so good. You want to cook your birthday cake? This is what your almost one-year-old face looks like. I'm getting a lot of teeth. When Carson gets back, we can make the cake. What about me? You can help too. We're gonna use the mixer and mix it all up. And mix it all up. Say, say T T Y O. Say bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. We'll come back after the pizzas come out of the oven. We'll probably make his little cake tonight too. Mom, yeah, no, he, he just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that, Trey? What you got, man? You gonna be one? Is he gonna be it? deciding to take him to school for a little bit this morning because his teacher wanted to celebrate his birthday at school and so she like had a little breakfast for the class and he has a little happy birthday and they did little I'm assuming cupcakes I think but we're going to pick him up in a couple hours I think I was telling y'all traditions on first first birthdays am I ever gonna get rid of this list but like oh my god or to the, the tradition of our first birthdays in our house or like haircuts not like actual haircut but like a little edge up and take them to get their ears pierced so we're gonna pick him up around probably like i'll head that way like 11 45 pick him up by 12 probably go get some lunch um we're gonna go bowling and stuff like that later tonight a little cake so he can of course blow his candles sing him happy birthday and all of the good stuff but like i said we're not really doing anything too big so we are about to head out and go to Target so that we can do our teacher appreciation little baskets. I just got the list, which I think I left them in the car, but yeah, it's teacher appreciation week and I would have started Monday if I would have been home, but I wasn't. So I'm just going to do one big thing, like one big basket. I'm not going to do a separate individual thing every day and either just take it tomorrow or Friday. We got on something super casual. Y'all can't even see me. I just have on this little black. Whatever. Y'all know the vibes. I gotta go change my shoes though. Because I don't want to. I just feel like the Crocs is just like, okay, girl. All right. So we're going in the store. And we are looking for gift cards mostly, it looks like. Because everything else that they have on their list, we can't really get inside Target. Because it just says like favorite restaurant, favorite scent, favorite store, favorite dessert place. So most of the stuff they have on here is just like, I would assume like buy gift cards for. So I do kind of have like some cute ideas of how I wanted to gift the gift cards. And then it has like their favorite flowers on here and stuff. So let's go in here and see what we can find for the little structure of the basket and the gift cards. And then we're probably gonna go to Trader Joe's, also get some flowers. Um, and then we're also gonna look for Mellow some birthday presents as well while we're in here. So let go. All right, we need Millie Moon for Mellow. I'm at Target. And I need to get my baby some big boy stuff. I don't know if I want these or these. Hmm. What do one year olds like to play with? I feel like they only play with things they're not supposed to play with. <laughs> I was gonna go look for him some little toys. Okay. <laughs> a 
Okay, what about these baskets? These are black. I don't like any of these cups. This is why I wanted to get Stanley's. Look at these cups. Sorry, looks. I lost my new white one that I just got. I feel like these, like the pink one is not bad, but I feel like it's too bright. You know, I'd be trying to do like a neutral aesthetic. Let's look at these cups. These cups are cute. I feel like they're giving teacherish vibes. You know what I'm saying? Look at these. Let me just keep on walking. I don't know what to get mellow. I feel so bad, but I just like they already have a whole bunch of toys. Like he had like they got a lot of stuff for Christmas. I just don't know what to get my baby. I don't know what to get him. On their list though, they really only put like things that they liked, but like it wasn't tangible things you could buy. Does that make sense? Unless I go to Bath and Body Works, but I don't even know what the closest Bath and Body Works is. And I don't really have time to go shopping, shopping. Okay, here's here's the gift card. Here. Oh, that's actually really cute. I think I can do that. <laughs> okay, now we gotta look for gift cards. Sorry, yeah, I'm just looking at these. Okay, one of Cheesecake Factory and Olive Garden. That's what we're looking for. Okay, I found Cheesecake Factory. I'll get two of these. Boom. I don't see anything for Razoo's. One of them said they like Razoo's. I wanted to get an Amazon one. I don't see Amazon. What is this? They got peach. They got pineapple, watermelon. They got lemon lime, girl. They got tropical mango. They came out with some new ones. I I feel like this one is my favorite, but to be safe, I feel like I should either get Tropical Mango or Stella Berry. You never try Tropical Mango. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get him this little remote control. Can y'all see that? Boom, in the basket. What else? Maybe I should get him a little tablet. Is he too young for a tablet? <laughs> oh look, they have like a little GoPro for kids. Look how cute that is. And it's got a little mount. That is so cute. Aww. Like, my boy is not even really walking, you feel me? We're gonna get this stuff over here. One, two, three. Okay, look, they have these little cars. These are cute. Oh, look, it's a school bus. Okay, see, that's... I found some cute stuff. Girl, everybody think he they, baby. Couple things. Okay, I think we're just gonna stick with what we got. I'm get no beans on my channel. <laughs> Do you think I should get these little flowers also to put in the basket? I was thinking about getting something like small too. I saw somebody basically like you stick the gift card and then it's like, thanks for helping me grow and you like stick the gift cards out of the flowers. Good, if you're putting up there. Yeah, it's gonna fit in the square. Got a request for pink roses. Ooh, I, these, these are cute. I like the little ones. Okay, girl. I'm gonna do, I said I'm gonna do eucalyptus and baby's prep. Okay, I found some white roses. Some white roses. I don't think I need as many as you think. <laughs> these are pretty. 
Okay, we're gonna get some eucalyptus. about baby's breath is they're hard to stick into foam. I'm gonna have to glue it or some shit. All right, we are back from Target, Trader Joe's, and Walmart. We gotta go to um, Sephora to pick up a couple other things for the teachers, but I'm just gonna show y'all what I got. I'll insert the TikTok of what I'm gonna do. My friend gave me the idea and it was cute. So basically I got these little foam moss things or foam floral, whatever. Y'all know what they are. To make like this cute little flower bouquet. These were all the flowers I got. I'm not gonna make it today because teacher appreciation is technically till Friday. And um, I'm just gonna put some water in here. And then I'm gonna probably do it tomorrow. The flowers fresh. Okay. Put them in the sun. Okay. I got mellow, a little basket. One of the toys is already going off. I got him this little remote control. It was really hard. I feel like it's hard to shop for like a one-year-old baby because they, they really just play with stuff they're not supposed to play with. But I got him this little remote as well because it plays music and all that good stuff. And then I also got him these little keys that play music. So I was just going to set everything in here like this. Nothing too fancy. And then I also got him some sippy cups so he can start transitioning from bottles to cups. So I got two different ones. One has a straw on it. Yeah, this one has a straw so he can practice with the straw. The other one's just a regular sippy cup. And then I got him this little school bus car. Can you all see that? I thought that was cute. So this is going to be his little birthday basket gift for the teachers. I found these cups from Starbucks. They're like pink and green. They kind of match the aesthetic that I'm going for. So I got two of those. And then I got them gift cards from the places they said they liked. So they both said Cheesecake Factory. Then one of them said Amazon, but I couldn't find Amazon. So I got like a Visa. And then I also did like a cute little Starbucks one. So I'm gonna put these in the bin. And then for their other feature, I did Cheesecake Factory, Target, Starbucks, so. Oh, and then these are the bottles of wine that I got that I was going to use. Just some Stella Rosa. We're about to head to Sephora. I just wanted to bring the flowers home and clear everything out because I'm going to pick the boys up on the way home from Sephora. We're going to go sit down and get lunch somewhere. Probably just, I don't even know, maybe like, I don't know. I don't know where we're going to go yet, but we're going to go grab some lunch. And then Aaron's going to come back and we're going to go take the baby to get a haircut and get his ears pierced. So, yeah. I think I have... Can y'all even see? The lighting is so bad. So dark. Okay. switching it around. Birthday boy! It's the birthday boy! Hi! Hi! You wanna open up your toys? What's in here? What is that? Get it! Okay, this first. It's a yellow truck. Not impressed, did y'all see him? It's like, Psh. okay. Now we got, we got this. Do you like this? We got a smile, we got one smile. 
You like that one? Let's open the rest. What about this? Keys? See how long you stay interested in that. My eyes are so itchy from my allergies. I need to start taking my allergy meds again. Whew. And get some eye drops. They're so itchy. It's like red. Lord help me. Help my edges too. Chop. I'm gonna open up this for him. And then just let him play. I think we're about to head out and go get his. Um, his ears here, so I just picked him up from school. And I think we're gonna go do that. I think we're gonna go do that really fast. Here you go.
so rough. This is like literally so embarrassing. I can't with these braids. I'm gonna have to take them out tonight. We're gonna have to do a silk press or a ponytail or something because child. Anyways, today's the next day. We ended up getting a little too turnt for Mr. Mello's first birthday yesterday. We just drank a lot when we went to Pinstack. Like it was me, Aaron, his cousins, his parents, and we were just taking shots, bowling. Everybody was asleep by the time we got home. He got his hair cut, which y'all saw. We didn't take him to get his ears pierced because the traffic was just bad trying to get to where we're going to pierce his ear. So we're probably gonna just take him this weekend and just continue on celebrating his birthday kind of for the rest of like the weekend and stuff. It's Mother's Day weekend, but yeah. I think we're still gonna like bake him a cake and stuff like that because we didn't do a cake or a candle and I refuse to like not do the happy birthday. So we're just kind of like extending it out. But anyways, today is Wednesday and I'm about to get ready to go eat lunch with one of my friends before the kids get out of school. So I'm about to hop in the shower really fast, change into something casual. We're just going to like this black owned Cajun restaurant that's close by the house to pick up something to eat. I was trying to be productive today and working, but I cannot get back into work mode from vacation. I'm like, today drains me already, okay? So she's gonna be here in like 10 minutes and I have to get all of this situated so i really need to clean up today i have big plans for today y'all like i thought we were gonna do so much i wanted to finish my baskets for the teacher appreciation today but I'm just gonna have to try again tomorrow 80 is 180 so i cannot like i need to i need a vacay from the vacay i got three eyelashes left this is ridiculous like oh my lord my face is breaking out so bad i have like a pimple on my chin two on my forehead and my cheeks are really congested and I don't know what's going on. I don't know, I did stop using my retinol while I was there because my skin was obviously like sensitive and sunburned and I didn't want to make my face feel really bad. But now I regret it because my skin is like flipping out. Hopefully that's temporary. I'm gonna take some zinc vitamin A. It's like zinc with vitamin A in it, but it's for acne and it's supposed to just like help clear up your skin. It's not gonna focus, but I'm gonna redo my Amazon storefront. I promise y'all one of these days and it should be linked. If you comment and ask me for something though, I usually will go get you the link and just put it in the comment. Sometimes I just be getting behind. I be trying to get my videos up and I don't be having time to really link anything, so. I apologize. I'm getting it together. My life is just very chaotic right now. I feel like we're doing a lot. Vacation, trying to find a house, birthdays. My birthday's next month. We'll actually be moving next month. We just, we're busy. <laughs> we're so busy, baby. I don't even know what to do. I don't know what I'm about to put on either because the weather is disgusting. It's gloomy and hot. It's like humid. It sucks. And then I gotta do something with my hair. Maybe I'll go to the braid shop in Arlington and try to get my hair done tomorrow and just get some braids. It's like an African shop. You can just walk in and they're supposed to get you done in and out pretty soon. I'm gonna just try to go first thing in the morning. I wanted to wait for the girl who usually does my hair, but she said she wasn't gonna be able to get me in until next Monday. And I'm gonna feel somewhat cute on Mother's Day. I think we're low-key just gonna do like a picnic for Mother's Day outside in the backyard. Aaron's family is having something too. I don't know what the plans are, honestly. Look at my hair, it's just like everywhere. It's not giving, it's not, it's not giving the vibes, but it is what it is. We're just going somewhere very, very casual, like it's not anything fancy. I really need to hurry up and just throw my clothes on. I don't wanna try to get back here before the boys come home. So I can make them a little snack. They'll probably go to the gym too, so. All right, anyways, y'all. I'm so tired, I'm so out of it. I know I must be about to be on my period. Let me check the flow app. Cause whenever, like my PMS symptoms are like sleep. Yeah, it's four days until I period. Mm. And Miss Flo has been deciding to show up real early these days. I don't know what to put on. Oh my gosh, I feel so unproductive. I hate when I have days like this and like I feel like I didn't get anything done, but I also like didn't relax. Like I could have been watching my shows and now I'm gonna have to be up. I gotta go get some clothes out of the kids' room. What else do I need to do? Put some moisturizer on my face. Put some sunscreen on. I need to finish up my clear and brilliant treatments with laser away. I haven't been having time to go. I wanted to get a facial too this week because my skin is just... I don't know, it's my fault. I really just didn't look anything. And then I have a lash fill on Friday. Lord, please do not let my face break out. No, no, please. My bathroom's a mess. Everything's a mess. What was I looking for? Oh, sunscreen. 
I can't tell if the Ilya skin tint is like breaking me out or not because I had it on and I feel like I kept getting like little clogged pores. It's supposed to be non-comogenic, but I don't know. So I'm going to go back to using the LTMD today, see if I get a breakout or not. I used to really like LTMD and then it did start making my face break out a little bit. And I was like, okay, no. So then I switched to the Ilya skin tint, which I do like because I feel like it helps take away some of the redness in my skin. It's not like full coverage. It's just like a very sheer, but I don't know. I feel like it was breaking me out. Or maybe my skin is just not doing very good. My hair is definitely not doing very good. Ooh, child. Ooh, child. I shouldn't even be going out in public like this, but <laughs> whatever. I wish I could just put on a hoodie right now and some sweatpants, but it's like 80 degrees and it's raining. Ooh, I'm just going to put on this little black crop top with these gray sweats today was a home day that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna call it oh i think we're getting a package from sephora today too guys oh la la i really know that i don't feel like i feel blah because i ate chips today like i ate a bag of doritos which is why i never keep chips in the house but it was a part of my little nachos i was gonna do and i opened the bag and i ate them and as soon as i ate them i literally was like oh like i don't know it's just like diet affects my energy so much like I really do have to start being more mindful and cautious about like what I'm eating because when I eat healthy, I don't have any midday crash. Like I don't really have like bad days if I eat healthy. But as soon as I eat junk food, the day is done. Like I literally am the I get the itis, I get tired, I get sleepy. When am I gonna take myself seriously and get it together? I don't know. No idea. I had so many things I wanted to do today too. I'm disappointed in myself. Ooh, pimp right here. Okay, I'm gonna spray myself. I gotta put some press on nails on. And I'm gonna wear Crocs. Crocs it is. I'm feeling comfortable, casual. You know what I'm gonna do for Mother's Day? I just wanna watch TV. I'm gonna watch TV all day, uninterrupted. Like, I feel like on Mother's Day, it's not that I don't wanna be around my kids, because a lot of moms, I feel like, say they're like, oh, like, I just want a day where I don't have to do anything, but I wanna be around my kids, but I just don't wanna have any of the mom responsibilities for the day. Like. Being a mom in general is not actually that hard. It's just like the cleaning, the cooking, the changing, the like basically tending to the child's needs is what makes it exhausting. But I mean, I love being around my kids. So if I just don't have to do any, like I don't want to be responsible for what we eat. I don't want to do anything, but just chill. I don't want to change a diaper. Like that would be a good mother's day. <laughs> we could just sit and watch movies all day, have somebody bring us food and just, Relax, you know what I'm saying? Deodorant, we're forgetting deodorant. Also, I wanted to address, because I know some of you guys have been asking me, I need to shave my armpits, about the like giveaway of the hygiene products and stuff that I have. I did already start like gifting stuff via my Instagram. I just ended up doing it like based off requests and DMs that I got, and I started giving it away. So we are slowly just kind of getting rid of it that way. So you could DM me on Instagram. I can only send you guys products that are not open though because content creators, influencers, whatever you want to call it, they are getting sued for sending people open products. So I'm not doing that. So that did knock off a lot of the stuff that I had, but I'm still gifting things that are unopened. So you feel free to DM me on Instagram if there's anything in particular from the one of the, it wasn't the last video I did, but a couple videos ago. And let me know if there's something that you want. I can tell you if I still have it or not. I'm out of breath. I'm so bloated. I've never eaten those chips ever again. And I don't even snack like that. Like, I never really eat chips. So here, I ate, like, the whole bag of the family-sized spicy Doritos. I'm disgusted. I'm just trying to make the best of the rest of the day. We're going to cook dinner tonight. I don't know exactly what meal we're going to do because yesterday we ate out and we are supposed to do fajitas yesterday. So I don't know if we're going to do fajitas today or if I... Yeah, probably because I don't feel like cooking that Cajun pasta today. I don't have that much energy, so... My room's a mess, everything's a mess. I need to start packing. I think I'm gonna start packing once we get back from New York because I feel like then we'll be pretty settled for a while. This mount is ass, I gotta get a new one. Do y'all see that? It's like slowly going down. But I like this one because it gets really tall but it's super compact, but it is, it's not staying. Stand up. This camera's also really heavy too, I don't know why. Yeah, maybe I'll do like a, this weekend we'll do like an organization, another little vlog or something. Get him, I need to get my life together. I need a Sunday reset. The camera's still falling. Okay, I'm gonna see you guys when we get to the restaurant. We're going to Granny's Cajun food. And yeah, then I'm gonna come back home, get in mom mode, get the house cleaned up. Let's go do my press ones. I always be lying. I'll be like, hey, we're gonna talk to you guys later. And here I am still talking. Y'all are gonna be so mad at me because it's gonna be like a week before I upload this video. Camera's starting to tweak.
Okay, these are the little press-ons that I get from, if you know, you know. They're the Beats Heart brand. They look like this. I'm really gonna try to go to the nail shop low-key and just see if they can do something with my nails. They're still in really bad shape, but honestly, I'm over press-ons completely. Like, I've been having to reapply them every day because I ran out of the good glue that I had. Like, this brand, their glue, their nail glue, is very good. I ran out, and so now I've been using a different one, and it doesn't last as long. But I've been prepping my nails, okay? I've been buffing them, everything. But they're so thin and brittle, y'all. It's gross. Granted, I've always had acrylic my entire life. So I think I told y'all I was telling y'all I'm not getting acrylic anymore. Like, I'm gonna get Gel X from now on only, and I'm done with acrylic and all of that jazz. This is the nail glue I'm using. Everybody says, like, this is the best one, like, on TikTok and stuff, but I think it's mid. Like, this one is way better. When I went to Punta Cana, my nails didn't fall off at all, and I was, like, in the water and all types of stuff, so their glue is definitely superior. I need to order some more. I just... I haven't got around to it because I have not been doing a lot of anything. Yesterday was probably like my most productive, active out of the house day since I've been back. I haven't tried this shape or this color yet from their brand, so I wanted to try it out. I hate when I get the nail glue on my finger. This is kind of cute. I feel like I could go to the nail shop and get Gel X on my nails because I'm still putting a press on on my nail. It's just barely a nail there. Does that make sense? But these are cute. They're like almond shaped and they're all white. Yeah, I think we're gonna do fajitas for dinner tonight. Sorry y'all, my mind is like going a thousand miles per minute thinking of just like every little thing. And I feel like since I've been back, my kids have been acting up so bad. I'm like, y'all daddy was spoiling y'all rotten while I was gone, but mama is back, do you hear me? They just been having like a lot of temper tantrums because they don't want to listen. And I'm like, oh yeah, we're not gonna do that. So I'm trying to make sure I stay consistent with their schedule and their bedtime routine and keeping everything all together and whatnot. I can't press this nail. Yeah, this glue is ass. Mm -mm. I want to put the boys on modeling. If anybody has any information on that, please hit me up because I want to put them in modeling. People always tell me that all the time. They're like, you should definitely put the boys in modeling. And I'm like, you know what? I should. And then I thought about sometimes like I could make them like an Instagram page that I run myself because like, why not? That's what a ton of people do with their kids. And they did have an Instagram page for a while, but honestly, y'all know, I'm not consistent on social media or anything. I mean, not all social media, but like Instagram and stuff. I just feel like I don't like it. I've never been an Instagram girl. Never ever, never ever. Anyways, next. Okay, I want y'all's thoughts, opinions, feedback, because the people who just really watch the whole vlog and are gonna see this, y'all are the people that I want your opinions on. So we need to pick a show that we can watch all together. Also, we gotta come up with a podcast thing. And I'm low-key thinking about maybe doing a podcast live, like a live podcast, like on air type of thing. Yeah, anyways, I've been thinking about doing that too because I feel like that would low-key be easier for me and also like interactive at the same time. Like I could pick a topic, we can talk about it and I can be alive and then I can like get y'all's feedback because like, I do want to do a podcast, but I also don't want to do another thing that feels like a task. I already got this, which is like my main channel, my YouTube, my vlogs, whatever. And then I am a busy woman, okay? I got three kids. And so I don't want to like feel like I have something that's also added on to my plate, if that makes sense. Like I want it to be, because it is something that like I want to do, but I want it to be some fun and just easy. I don't want it to feel like work. Does that make sense? Which when I'm vlogging, it doesn't feel like work. Like I love vlogging like a lot. Y'all know I love talking to okay, we from It's more of like the editing side of it. Just like answering emails and stuff like that. That's more time consuming, but we're getting there. We're finding a, a balance. And I'm trying to be more consistent on this channel too. Cause I still want to like grow this platform. I feel like I never really had like a super like end goal for YouTube. Like I never was like, oh, I want to have like a million subscribers or I want to have every year. I kind of just say like, oh, I want to have a hundred more K than I had the last year. And then, but I actually want to like start actually trying to get popping on here. Cause like, I'm really not good at short form content. And I know that that's where a lot of people are like blowing up and stuff. But it's just honestly, it's just, it's not really my vibe. And I feel like it would just be extra work for me. And I'm like, nah. But everybody keeps pressuring me about YouTube shorts, YouTube shorts. But I'm like, who even watches YouTube shorts? Like, am I the problem? I got nail glue all over this one. Mm, I don't know if I like these or not, but this is what they look like for now. I need some cuticle oil. They're not bad. It's just gonna curse me out. What? And don't tell me open the garage and you're five miles down the road either. I don't wanna hear it. Open the garage. No, because I know you're not even here. I'm literally turning on your shirt. Come on. 
Okay. You broke. My shoulders are peeling. What's new? I gotta hurry up and put this last hand on. She's gonna be like, girl, come on. You're here doing your nails. I could just hear her right now. She probably not gonna cook for me. She like, girl, you need to come on. We ain't cooking for you. Bro, we are so annoying. I, like when we're drunk, I was watching the vlog back and I was like, oh my God. We might have been here in a decade. Uh-uh. Oh, matching. <laughs> Why do you think that house yellow? It's not gonna be yellow. That's just the siding. I was about to say, they didn't fucked up the whole aesthetic on the street. Oh yeah, I didn't even, oh, okay, I forgot. I forgot to tell y'all. So another update on the house. I told y'all, I think in the beginning of the vlog, basically the appraisal came back. It was low, so we waited on the second appraisal. The other lender came back and said that theirs was gonna be from the same company. So the appraise was gonna be basically the same so there was no point in ordering it again and so the seller is oh we'll try this person or this person or this person and we're like i'm not gonna go to every lender to find the appraisal that you want for the house like it just is what it is so they were like oh well we're getting an appraisal done on friday and we can see what it is and I'm like okay so we're gonna wait it out till friday but most likely that's not gonna be the house that we end up getting so wow you have really outdone yourself they get this anyway wow and Stella Rosa? Well, I've talked Carter and Carson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she didn't really end all of this. These are like $150 baskets. More than that, because mm -hmm. I'm looking at $25. I know they got their money. They get three gift cards, $50, $25. <laughs> <laughs> they take care of my kids five days out the week. They like, do. That's the least you could do. That's the least right. I could do. Oh, you've been drinking this. Oh, God. <laughs> I drink every day because it's good for you. We're going to be graduated for what? I'm going to be out of high school for six years. That is so crazy. I'm going to be 24. Who the fuck said I could be 24 and have three kids? That's insane. All right, come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. yesterday and we were low-key supposed to cook but i ended up giving the kids my leftovers from the hispanic restaurant that we went to um i say hispanic mexican food i don't anyways um i was gonna make fajitas and i got fajitas there at lunch and then the kids just ate my leftovers and they ate them and they said they were good so we're gonna cook tonight um probably i don't know exactly what we're gonna make because aaron's dad said that he was probably gonna pick the boys up today after school to spend some time with them before he leaves so yeah anyways it's the next day today is wednesday or thursday I, child blur okay but i do have some house updates i think i gave you guys like a little bit of an update yesterday so basically um tomorrow we'll have the official news about this appraisal for the other house but honestly it's kind of just like i've given up low-key on that house anyways oh hold on Hello? Jenna. What? Bitch. Bitch. What? Nothing. What's up? You're hilarious. Nothing. I was on the phone with Marcus and my cousin real quick. I figured but I know. I can't I see. I can't see you. I'm on the phone with my friend, but we're going to all do the little baskets together. But like I was telling y'all, we're basically waiting pinned in for the house tomorrow. But we already submitted an offer on two other houses that we looked at just so that we can have backup options. Because now it's about to be mid-May and we need to close before June so we can start moving and do any like changes or finishes in the new house that we need to do before we move in. So yeah, that's just a little brief summary. We'll probably talk about it a little bit more tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. I really want to go get my nails done and stuff before Mother's Day weekend and all of that. So tomorrow might be a maintenance day, but let's do these baskets really quickly and see. <laughs> it's the bonnet for me. It's cute. She's trying on dresses. She getting ready to go out of town now. Oh, don't take the bonnet off now. It does look cuter. <laughs> Bitches just kidding. 
Okay, let's do the flowers. Here that. Okay, we got the two bottles of wine. I'm gonna move y'all so y'all can see me better. Let's see. Okay. I can't believe it's Mother's Day on Sunday with the little sparkly bag. What kind of shoes are you gonna wear? Um, yeah. I'm gonna screen record us while we're on the phone. Can I do that? Hello? Okay. Boom. I'm gonna insert this in the corner of my blog because I'm talking to you, but I'm also I'm making my flowers. Then it will make sense. Okay. Those are not sparkly. You don't got them sparkly shoes. You have silver. Yes. Do you have silver? Do you have silver? Okay. You still got a match, huh? You already not wearing the color she told you to wear. You know what? You the fashionista, and I don't know how to dress, so don't even ask me my opinion. <laughs> I hope they can hear you on the screen recording, bro. I'm gonna take my AirPods out so y'all can hear this out. That's what I'm just saying. All this is is a little bit of bedazzle. It's not my graduation. How would you feel if I'm bedazzled all the way down from head to toe at your graduation? I personally don't care about bitches cause 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 shit. As long as my nigga as long as my nigga think I'm cuter than everybody there, then I don't care what anybody wear. Anyway. Anyways. I'm wearing the I'm wearing the new heels because I couldn't throw some color in there. So wear a nude purse. Okay, I'm gonna cut this. I should cut this a little bit smaller, right? Yes, that's too big. Yeah. Okay. But I still want to keep the round shape because yeah, I feel like keep it round. Yeah. I wish I had like a cookie cutter or something to like. Well, you don't get a ball and trace it. Okay, that might be the smartest thing you said all day. Peace. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put the ball on top of here and cut. I'm gonna change. I got this dress in Fashion Nova. Oh, I'm lying. Pretty little thing. Mm. I'll get you one. They got it. They also had it in let up. I have a cute dress from Pretty Little oh, Things. They're hit or miss. They're hit or miss because sometimes, like, the stuff be too big and it don't be looking like I did it. Lamont, listen, I'm thick and all. I'm thick and all. Hold on a minute, don't do that. But listen, one thing about me, day models be sometimes got a little bit more hit. You know, got all that. <laughs> that's me to hear my hair. Anyways, I'm going to change. So, yeah. Oh my God, that sounds horrible. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. 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 let us This must be the wrong type of foam. I should have just went to the dollar store. Oh, maybe it is. Okay. 
I can't tell. Anyways, child. Okay, well, I tried my best. You're basically supposed to just put the top of this on here. It's not. Right. Did you put the water in there first? Yes, I dipped it in water, but it didn't really soak up the water very good. The, the party is tomorrow, huh? Yeah, or the the last day of teacher appreciation is tomorrow. I mean, the party. The teacher appreciation day is tomorrow, right? It was all week. Okay. What about that gives What about that gives Fiesta? Uh, the bottom of pants. Look, Fiesta. <laughs> Get your ring. Okay. Fiesta, Fiesta. I don't know if I can do this. Yes, you can. Stop saying you can't do stuff. Yes, you can. Oh! You don't like it? I broke it. Oh my god. You are. Bitch, you'll never know when enough is enough. Why did you. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, bro. He's telling me you bought three. No, I bought two. I got extra foam, but it's just not going to be a circle. Oh my goodness, what did I just do? This is horrific. <laughs> now nah, I gotta work. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I got a whole bunch left over. I'm gonna glue just like it. glue just, it. I'm not gonna glue it. I'm just gonna do a different piece. Oh. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> it's not absorbing the water though. Stop fucking laughing, bitch. What? We are we are just waiting. Whatever. Listen, you can't even make it. Listen, you don't like this? Hmm? I don't. I mean, I don't not like it, but it's not giving fiesta. If you ask in my opinion. What do I need to wear this fiesta? doesn't even, I can't put flowers blue on this. Around, blue, blue the rest, stop. Jesus Christ, stop pushing it down. That's why, look, Inch, get a hot glue gun. No. I'm just gonna shape it up a little bit. You don't even need to, it's gonna be covered with the flowers anyways. But I need to be able to put the flowers on good, bitch. And I fucked it up again. teacher's just gonna get it and one of the teachers is not <laughs> this is too much i should have just left it alone and just did so this whole thing like this it's just not too it's not a really is it but honestly personally i don't have nothing fiesta so this is really all you think i don't have time to go to the store listen it's just family it's just family it's just colors it's just family. Why did I cut it? I should have never cut it. I should have just left it like this. Yes. No, and don't say no. yeah because you that's told me to cut big. it. No, it's, it's not. I got big. two dozen roses. Do you have that many flowers? I got two dozen Do you roses. Have that many flowers? Yes, with your bad connection ass. Huh? Two dozen. I got you two. Have two of these. Do you, did you not see how many flowers that people had? Girl, watch how much this just this fills up. Anyway, strong. This is you don't have to cut that off. Listen. You don't say. Do you think I'm slow? No, but that's not that many. That's not that many flowers. I got two dozen. Cut it at an angle so that it has a curve. Bitch, shut the hell up. Shorter than that. I can't believe you said no. What else is Fiesta? 
be cute. Okay, that's all the fuck I know. This whole thing better be cute. I have this cute little dress. Just gonna find the flowers. Does this get fiesta? You need to see it on. Do you own anything that gives fiesta? What is even fiesta? This thing like flowy dresses, colorful. No! No! <laughs> no! No, what? I don't own nothing like that. Mm, you don't got nothing for the right, you don't got the right desire. No. Maybe I do need to go shopping then. This is gonna be so ugly. I can't believe I listened to your ass. Dude. You should have been watching a TikTok so they could have told you how to do it. I don't need TikTok to tell me how to do something that's self-explanatory. Flowers go on here. It's not even in the middle. Uh, uh, bitch, now. I don't think I got You're enough. You're gonna end up taking it off. I don't think I got enough flour. It's because they're weighing it down on this side. Once I get all the way around, it's gonna be fun. It looks cute. Don't stress me out, bro. Really cute. Keep going. You're almost there. I don't have enough flowers. I already told you that. But you don't listen to me. I'm just gonna have to cut it and make it smaller. I said, uh, don't be a hater. Do not be a hater. Do you want me to bring Fiesta? This gonna be Fiesta. <laughs> it's giving, why do you have that? This is ghetto. Yeah, baby, you know, you know, you know what it is when you get some big beans. What is that? It's a plate. piece we got. This is this last song. Hey, piece. your edges look good today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, they yeah. curl it up on the side too. Why are you gonna oh shut up? Please. You used some hairspray. Yeah you did. Yeah I did. Bianca is not texting me back. I'm like, okay, bitch, don't be start being. Love you, girl. Don't start trying to be weird to me, bitch. Why are you being weird to me? I text her three times. I'm like, girl, I had to even say, I'm sorry for texting you so many times, but bitch, damn. You fucking did not text her. I did, bitch. I get my hair done. I'm not gonna fucking play with her. She was like, I can get you in on Monday. So I'm like, okay, I need to know. Can you actually get me in on Monday, or do I need to go to the African braiding shop real quick? Like, stop playing with me, please. Like. This is my whole life. I'm gonna go out of town. I need my hair done. And she just steady leaving me all red. Damn. She has not responded one time. I'm like, ma'am, ma'am, I'm gonna pull up to your shop. Stop fucking. Uh oh, not pull up on me. I'm gonna pull up. Okay, we got one layer. That is cute. I like where it's got. Hey, you can use some of these green flowers too. You better. 
you go to fill in those holes. Well, that eucalyptus and baby's breath, girl. Yeah, but you can still fill in those holes with somebody. You just always want to tell me how to do my job. Okay. That's why my basket don't look better than yours. No, it's not. And you don't even know if you're making a basket. You keep, I don't know if I'm going to do all that. No, I'm, I'm going to make it. Because I said I'm going to do it for her. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm going to do all that. <laughs> yeah, because. Yeah, and we ain't even going to get into it. <laughs> Okay, look, this is the only other thing I got Festus, baby. This is it. Ain't nothing more Festus I got. I feel this like that's, I feel like that's, like, that's Festus, the color-wise, like. The gold? Yeah. It's a gold dress. Okay, well, why you show me, bitch? Huh? Okay, okay well, why you show me, then? I don't know why I showed you. If you didn't want it, then why are you showing it to me? Let me show you. What is so much festive about this? You see, I was gonna wear shorts with this, you know, to give it more of a like shakier vibe, but it ain't appropriate to be around family. <clears throat> You're grown. Bitch, I'm not about to have my ass out around family. Come on, be for real. Mm. I don't know nothing about that. The ass over here is assing, so it's not like I can put it away. You feel me? I'm not about to have no Okay, well, don't know about to wear no shirt. There's kids around. Okay. I'm just kidding. I'll be, I'll be they honest. They say hoochie mama. That's why, that's why when I be like, hoochie mama. Pumpkin, that's because that's, that's who she is. I'm not a hoochie mama. This was your idea. I will, I will give you that. That is bomb. I wish I had some more roses, but. That is you. If, if I saw somebody come in with that, I would be in tears. <laughs> Not tears, bitch. But yeah, that's like the thought that counts. And that is like so smart. Like some people don't even think to do that. Especially for like a teacher. Come on now. Okay, now we gotta fill it in. That is too stinking cute. Do you have one more rubble right here you can put? No. Oh, that's the edge. I don't have any more roses. I just have to cover it up with the eucalyptus and the baby's bed. Okay. Hey, I do think you should line the bottom because I can see underneath with the screen. I'm going to put the tissue paper already. Okay. Because I don't want to put the tissue paper around the bottom. Okay. 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 I can't, what am I gonna, how am I gonna put anything on it? Are you, are you, what's, 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 what's? Oh, that is gonna, oh my God. What, 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 Listen, y'all used to not know Kenna back in the gap. Okay. Look, they, this bitch used to bring a, make these big old letters, numbers, y'all seen them, and if she could, if she, if she had, if she really, really wanted to, she would have definitely put like, the, the lights and stuff in them, but she used to put balloons. Then she used to have like the little candy that you break. She was that she was that girl. That was in my state. So you don't want her to really get into that type of business because she will take off on it. That was my uh in my stay at home mom era. You're still a stay at home mom. We're, we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> I'm a work from home mom. Right, but you can do that. Yeah. No, you definitely are working mom. You are a very hardworking mom. The hardest working mom I've ever seen. Thank you. I know a few hardworking moms, but you're one of the top. Yep. Period. Tell them. I don't know no 23 year old with three motherfucking kids, but bitch, I'm still seven or nine. <laughs> it's always the fact that y'all bitches have to bring my age into it. It's fucking ridiculous. I just can't believe it. <laughs> it's like you were a teen mom. Like, how cool is that? Like, cool. I mean. It's probably oh, not cool in the moment, but like thinking on it, like, bro, again, I have no kids. I don't even know what a kid is. Besides y'all's kids. Bitch, be acting like she a mother. 
She don't even like kids. That's the tea. <laughs> I can't say nothing back. I can't say nothing. Nothing back. I do like kids. I, I just don't. don't like it when they crack me up. Like, why, why is the kid crying when I hold them? Why do you want your mom when I hold you? Like, I'm that's not why I don't. You. That's why I don't really pick up other people's kids. Cause I'm not even gonna allow you to disrespect me like that. No, I'm not even picking you up. I don't ever ask the whole. Like, and then like Prince used to like fall. Like, am I hurting you that bad? Like, what did I do? Like, it's just stranger danger. Right. Sure. No, I just don't. Um, I don't pick up other people's kids. I don't like when kids cry either. Crying gives me anxiety. That should be driving me nuts. Yes. I, I can be so chill. As soon as crying starts, oh, get somebody it's else. It's over with. Get somebody right else to be here. Get, get, get your kids, somebody, please. I can't, I can't do it today. Oh. Aaron is like a baby whisperer. Though. All babies love him. Marcus, too. I'd be like, bro, he's, look at his face. He looks mean. <laughs> uh, what's her name? I'm what's her name's daughter likes me? Um, May May's daughter. Oh, uh... Um, Why am I blanking on her name? Damn, now you made me blank. Uh... Damn. Avery. No. no I'm talking about Boston. Sorry. I can't think of her name. Boston. Though. I'm talking oh, about yeah. her. I'm talking Amira. about her. Amira, yeah, Amira. <laughs> you can't remember Amira's name? I just went blank. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, Boston... Boston, she barely, she barely like let me hold her or anything. But when it came to Marcus, she loved her some Marcus. Loved. I'm definitely gonna have to super glue the top, the the piece on. The top, the piece. like this foam piece to the bottle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that they did that honestly. Just put a little bit on the in the. I just don't want to get out my hot glue gun. See, this is why I can't. This is why I can't move to the little house. Cause I got. If I start getting in my crafting era, all my crafts are in my office. Okay. Yeah. I'm a crafty mommy. Yes, yes, you are. It's too long. <clears throat> What time is it? I need to get ready to get on the road. Damn, yeah, should I go by the store, Kenna? And find something? <laughs> what store are you going to go to? I don't like you. This is why I don't like you. What store are you going to go to? Uh, there, I have to go through Metairie, which is going Listen. to... Aaron bought me these roses, but I low-key have to use them because I need to fill in the gaps on here, bro. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I need like one or two. They Why open up so big. Huh? Why don't you just go buy more? Cause I got some right here. It's gonna be Mother's Day. If I don't get no more fucking flowers, it's a okay, problem. Okay, yeah, you're right. Just go for it. <laughs> He's contributing. Okay. This is his. That's his. This is his. Oh, no, they fell Ooh, apart. Damn. Nope. Just going right back in the jar. I don't even worry about it, sweetheart. It really don't look bad. Where do you need to fill it? There's just a lot of green you can see, but the baby's breath is so see-through. It's just hard to like. That's why you need to put some of these greens in here. It's just going to take up more space. That's all, that's all I'm saying. And at least it'll be a flower. or you know, It's not a, a flower. It's a leaf. Oh, that's I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm, call me a florist. Call me florist day because I got it with the baby's breath. That the baby's breath doesn't just like stick into the foam though. You kind of gotta just like put it in the gaps because the the stems are just too thin. Call me Flores Bay. Call her. Somebody. Somebody book me. <laughs> book me. That is actually really stinking cute. Too bad I messed up the other one. I know. We're gonna go buy another one. No, I'm not. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna make some shit. I think you should just glue it together. 
Hope I gotta get out the glue gun. That looks like a uh, bouquet, like a wedding bouquet. Yeah, good period. I'm gonna look back at the footage and be like, this shit look odd ass. <laughs> no, it really don't. Like, it really don't. I'm so picky about shit though. I'll be like, ugh. It is so cute. And then once you put it, it literally looks like a bouquet. Like, it like a wedding bouquet. It's really pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, we filled up that gap. Now we got like <clears throat> a couple more corners, a little middle. It's coming Can together. Can you kind of do some at the bottom? Like, I, I just see how where my angle is. But you just can see. I don't know. I can try to stick some leaves in there. I'll see. Like, I don't know if this. Or, or maybe the baby breasts. These got thorns all over them. Do you see that leaf sticking out of it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I can't really make it like. Poke out? Turn it the other way. Like that? Oh, yeah. But it broke. Oh, fuck. The, the stem that was not cute fit. with that. Yeah, I like that. Well, let me see. Can let me see that. Oh, no, there we go. That does look cute. You don't have to do it all the way around, but like where the. I probably will around. do it all the way around though. I feel like it'll look dumb if I don't do it around. It looks cute like that. It just adds more. Yeah, that looks good. A little bit, you know, to fluff it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me put my hair right back on. <laughs> That's what you need to start doing. Girl, I went to a whole out the fuck town and on excursions. My hair looks a mess because I was in the water. I'm not saying right now, girl. I'm talking about anytime you get your damn hair done. She'd be sworn that she black, but then we want to get in the, get in the shower and get her hair wet. That's how black people move, baby. Okay, well, you know, that's why. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> listen. What we not gonna do? Is always try to attack my blackness. Cause when I walk around saying I'm Caucasian, then everybody's gonna have a fucking problem. Oh me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So just just leave me alone. Well, I mean, there was somebody that actually said something like that. She said that she's too too white for black people <laughs> and too black yeah. for white people. Yeah, that's all mixed. Like that's a that's a big yeah, thing. It is. That's why I don't I, believe I in interracial relationship. Is it like you know, who am I supposed to sit with? Right, who am I supposed to sit with? We'll always take you on the black side, baby. No, I never had any white friends or anything, so. Yeah. I had a few white friends. Ain't nothing wrong with having some white friends. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I just naturally just never really was like, just drawn to. I had people. Yeah, because we just don't have anything in common. In common. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to glue it so it can be up straight. It's coming together, y'all. It is. You do a little baby breath in the middle. You know, that looks so good. Like, I expect this for all the mothers for Mother's Day when I become a mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my friend said yesterday. She said, she came over here, she was looking at the baskets, and she was like, I've taught Carson and Carter before. <laughs> Like, where, like, where is my teacher appreciation? Where is my teacher appreciation? Okay, now I'm gonna put the leaves all. And y'all know this girl almost bought her teacher's AirPods. I'm signing up to be the teacher today. <laughs> Bitch, I got you headphones too. You, but this as a teacher, AirPods they got they got two teachers. Teachers are the most underpaid fucking. You're right. You're right. But I just Underpaid, <laughs> most unappreciated. I'm gonna hook my girls up. That, listen. If y'all ain't trying to watch these boys, y'all better sign up today. <laughs> y'all better sign up today. Mm -mm. That's really appreciation. <clears throat> okay, this is hard work and dedication right here. They are. They are. They are. I ain't about to even knock them. Because I used to have a really nice teacher. If they were if they were day. if they were rude, I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do right. anything. Alright, anyways, I'm basically just gonna do the same thing on the next one. So and try to
finesse one of these pieces together. Sephora, so what is all that on the floor? The leaves. Uh. Anyways, let me do my Sephora haul. I got them. Did I show y'all already? I can't remember. I got the Way St. Bart's scrub wash. Um. Oh, the Melrose, the Melrose Place scrub. The little Sol de Janeiro bum bum. This is my favorite one. And then I got them two of the little. Perfumes, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, the Lip Gloss, and the little Touchland Rose Hand Sanitizer. And then this candle, y'all, is fire. Oh my gosh. I'm getting this for my house. Like, when I move, like, I'm getting these all over. It's called the Sparkling something. Sparkling Wine Coconut Wax Blend Bougie Perfume by Valspar, Valspa, I don't know how you say it. This is so good. So anyways, yeah. And then, y'all saw this stuff. What do you stuff. buy that? Sephora. Sephora. Okay. Put some tissue inside here, I guess. I feel a shallow, shallow. I wish yeah, I had like everything up, stuff the paper down there, make it look cute. I wish I had like some mini boxes, cause I feel like it's more fun when you get to like unwrap a gift. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Just put that shit in there. <laughs> Shut your ass up. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ho. Ho. Yeah, it looks better. Just not thrilled with the basket look, but it, it's fine. They can't the basket at the schoolhouse. At the schoolhouse. <laughs> it's a thought that counts. Okay, I got this one hot glue, so I'm gonna put the other basket together and then I low key might just take these up to the school today. Have Aaron ride with me so he can help me hold them. Bruh. <laughs> I'm taking these out right now. That's what I am coming to do. Okay, we're done. The braids are out. And nobody wants to braid my hair. I had to go on Instagram and beg. I've been calling people on a contact on Instagram trying to see if I can get a squeeze in tomorrow. Like, I'm so sick right now. But I'm about to go wash my hair. <sighs> and cry a little bit. I refuse to straighten my hair. Like, I do not want to flat iron my hair. I'm trying to grow my hair. I don't want to flat iron it. The only time I want to get it pressed out is when I get a trim. And I need to do that professionally. So, yeah, I'm trying to, I'll get a wig, anything at this point, but I'm like, no one is answering the phone. All right, let's wash this hair. Let's wash this hair. All right, we're doing chopped cheese tonight. We got our basket. <laughs> I'm going to prep everything first. Um, and then it's really just making ground beef and sauteed onions, and then you just put it together on a little bun. And that's chopped cheese. You can make like a special sauce if you want. I personally don't like mayo. I'm gonna just do ketchup, but you can do whatever you want. So you need an onion, you need tomatoes, ground beef, Colby Jack cheese, lettuce, buns. Hopefully this will be super simple. I'm gonna watch the last episode of the Queen Elizabeth series that's on, or not Queen Elizabeth, I keep saying it, Queen Charlotte on Netflix while I cook.
All right, let's taste test. Oh, Lord. I just cracked the coat on the new sauce, though. If you're like me and you don't like, um, like mayo, do ranch. I mixed ranch and ketchup. I'm sorry. Okay, really quickly, nobody cares. This might be the end of vlog. I don't know, but I just got the new Sol de Janeiro fragrances. Oh my gosh. I have to smell them. This smells exactly like something you can get from. <laughs> this smells like a perfume from Bath and Body Works, but I don't know which one it is. Anyways, it's like bergamot and vanilla amber. I don't know what that is, but it reminds me of something about the body works. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. I found somebody, so don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Whew, this low key smells far. Mmm. Mmm. What is this? Mimosa flower and nude musk? I wish I didn't look a mess right now talking to y'all. Just focus on this. These are fire. They do smell a little bit cheap. I don't remember how much they were. Let me see. It doesn't say the price on here. Okay. Okay. Well, anyways, I don't know. When because when you first burn, they have that very intense like alcohol leaf. I don't know. Something, but okay, last one. Are you shitting me? These are all a banger. Oh my gosh, what is this? This is something or or or, or <laughs> I can't even say it. It's got like guava and nectar. That's what I smell the most. Oh, these are all fire. Please run to Sephora and get all these. Thank you. I don't know if this is the end of the vlog or not, but we shall see. If not, I'll see y'all tomorrow in the morning getting my hair done. If not, I'll see y'all later. I'll see you in the vlog. Bye, bitch.